All right, this is Jesse Stay of Hashtag, can't do the two fingers, Geek Greens. Um, I am going to just give you a quick tour of my spring garden. I've got a bunch of plants. I've kind of neglected showing you my process of setting up uh, lately. I'll, I'll uh, do some more episodes about setting up the garden uh, another time. But I uh, uh, wanted to give you a tour of the garden here and uh, kind of show you what I got growing. And uh, maybe we'll show you some of the progress as we go. Uh, anyway, let's, let's get going. All right, so here we've got, uh, these are my boxes here. It looks kind of messy, but what I'm doing is I'm gradually laying my boxes down to kill this grass that's growing here. Uh, the other thing you've seen, if you follow me on Facebook, um, I, I've been updating uh, with uh, uh, a irrigation project that, uh, that I've been working on to, to reroute all my sprinklers. And if you look over here, you see the little lines for the sprinklers that I've reburied. So I'm, uh, and there's an Alex there. Um, I am actually uh, putting, I put in new sprinklers so that uh, only this area inside here gets water and then I have drip irrigation going throughout the rest. So ideally, we'll still have some grass uh, that we'll have to worry about with the, the boxes, but uh, uh, ideally most of this grass will die, um, but the boxes will also help keep out weeds and other, other things from growing in here where I'm, I'm putting, in, uh, uh, putting in raised beds. And you can see, I put in a few new raised beds. Um, I'm gonna gradually grow this all the way out here where the rocks are over here. And uh, and we'll have raised beds all throughout uh, with lots and lots of food. I'm actually kinda excited about that. So let me take you, I've shown you the boxes. Um, so here, this is kind of my pepper garden here with a few extras. Um, I've got some jalapeno there. Uh, I put some honeydew melon in the middle there that I'm going to kind of drape over. Uh, you know, take that and then just kind of drape it over the side there as it grows. Um, and then um, over here I've got yellow wonder pepper green. It would be kind of a bell pepper. It's a, uh, it's a uh, heirloom bell pepper. Uh, and then we've got uh, right here, this is my scorpion pepper. These I'm going to dry and turn into a pepper. I actually grew, uh, have a big scorpion pepper plant inside. It's kind of doing okay. I'll show you my inside garden here in another episode. Uh, here we've got uh, pimento in the middle. We've got uh, over here um, Thai chili pepper. Um, uh, so this one is just what I'm going to grow in the garden. I'm, I'm actually going to get some of my friends from Thailand to order some, to send me some real seeds from Thai peppers in Thailand and I'm gonna grow those in my indoor garden and right here we've got a sweet banana plant right to right here um, over here we've got a green bell uh, I think this is another no this one right here is an Anaheim pepper right there uh, this one right here is gonna be a yeah this one right here is gonna be a red bell sorry for the shakiness here um, and then in the middle here, we've got a purple bell and a, another sweet banana. Love sweet banana peppers. And then we've got, um, this is a big Bertha bell. I, I think it's just have, it's supposed to have bigger peppers. Okay, so over here, this right here, I'm really excited for this one. This is going to be an artichoke uh, plant. I actually have three of them, one right here. One right here and one right here. Uh, these will grow really big and produce artichokes, which I'm very excited. I'm hoping I planted them soon enough because they do have a longer growing season than others. Another one, this is a perennial that I am growing. I'm very excited about. It looks like the birds are starting to eat it. Hopefully the cats can put an end to that here. Um, this is my horseradish plant. Uh, my horseradish plant. This will get much bigger and grow roots uh, down underneath. That will uh, it will will you'll be able to take off the roots and shave them into horseradish. You can also take off pieces of the roots, replant them, and uh, have more horseradish the following year. So uh, so that's going to be a cool plant. This right here, see, I'm really into Thai food. Um, lived in Thailand for two years, so I've uh, I, I had to have some Thai eggplant for my green curry. So I actually have. I actually put one inside so I can have some year-round, but I've got uh, two here. I've got this one right here, 
And right here, this is the Kermit eggplant. Produces nice little round eggplant balls that you see in uh, Thai eggplant. It's also known as Thai eggplant. Uh, and in the middle here, I've got Thai basil, which will grow and produce the basil known in Thai food. Um, let's go over here. This is kind of my lettuce, and uh, it's more my asparagus bed here um, that uh, that I'm using to also uh, have lettuce, because the lettuce will actually be shaded by the asparagus as it grows. I actually planted asparagus really down deep, and it's been growing through, uh, and that's what these little shoots are right here, these little ferny type things. There's another one peeking through the ground over there, and then over here there's more asparagus. Um, got some grass weeds starting to grow through them, trying to... Out. I didn't put boxes under this when I built this bed. This was my very first bed, um, and I'm paying for it now. But I've got some uh, honey crisp lettuce. Uh, there's there's a little cucumber trying to survive here, and I think that will survive. Um, in here, right next to the cucumber, there you see that little plant right here. That's uh, that's all throughout here, and th those are going to be carrots that are going to grow um, throughout the season. I'm hoping we have a nice batch of carrots. We actually have some already bigger here to here and over here. These I'm letting the flower. These are going to be, uh, uh, these were uh, broccoli plants and and I'll harvest it for the seeds here. Uh, just letting it flower there. Now this is kind of cool. What I do is I put these in. This is actually tobacco. Now I don't smoke. I don't recommend smoking. Um, uh, but uh, and I don't chew it or anything like that, but tobacco is a pesticide. And having these here, and if you look really close, tobacco has these little sticky leaves that, that kind of catch things. Also underneath, uh, uh, it, it produces a little substance, and these catch the bugs. So these will actually grow bigger and will catch bugs around this, uh, this uh, garden where this is, has a lot of cabbage and lettuce and stuff. I wanted to catch some of the bugs that attack that uh, that lettuce. So um, here I've got some kale. I'm gonna have to harvest some of that here soon. It's gonna be going to flower here soon. Uh, some can't, some of my kale is already going to flower, and I'll harvest the seeds from that. Same over here, and over here. Some more buttercrisp lettuce over here. Um, so that's my my uh, asparagus bed. Let's see if I can hurry through here. So we got tomatoes kind of scattered throughout. Uh, I've got uh, uh, we got black cherry, a really big black cherry um, uh, tomato plant that I grew indoors over the winter, and it's kind of I don't know. We'll see if it survives. It uh, uh, it was really big, and most of, most of it's underground. I've I've uh, I've pruned it quite a, quite significantly. Uh, and the top was the worst looking of the plant. So this ought to bush out and grow. It's got lots and lots of roots underneath. Um, we got a uh, pear cherry uh, tomato here too, and this should also flourish here soon. This is my, I, I, I absolutely love Brussels sprouts, and this is a Brussels sprout plant that will, it has a longer season, it'll grow. Um, and then, uh, um, uh, and then I've also got beans growing throughout. We've got some provider beans as well as bush beans. And there's one little one growing here. We've got more growing throughout here. They're just starting to sprout. Looks like the birds are getting a few of them. Got some right there. Um, some right there. Um, and then more tomatoes. Uh, I've got a number of big rainbow tomatoes, of watermelon tomatoes, to... Uh, um, uh, I've got, uh, oh, you name it, uh, beef steak, hearty beef steak, uh, a bunch of different. Uh, I've got, I've got uh, black cherries. We got black semen tomatoes, which are, are just black tomatoes. Sun gold tomatoes. That's what that one is right there. Um, that that'll be a cherry tomato plant. Uh, there's a delicious beef steak tomato plant. And then all throughout here, we've got our our radishes growing throughout. To, uh, and I'll be replenishing these until it gets too hot. And and then uh, alongside the radish, you see these little sprouts. Those are going to be carrots. I got those going all the way around the side. So I kind of mix all these things together in here um, and, uh, and space the plants that need the spacing apart. But I kind of just have all this growing and, and flourishing 
together in kind of an ecosystem that uh, that that I think will work well. I'm gonna try it. We'll see how it works. It's all an experiment. All these are always experiments. I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll see what happens. That's what gardening's about. Is no one knows what they're doing. We're all just trying things out and seeing what works for our cli climate. So we've got a few others. So. This is the Dills Atlantic Giant Pumpkin. I'm hoping the it's it's not doing too well. I'm hoping it uh, survives. Uh, this will produce really big pumpkins. Uh, we got onions growing all around the outside edge here. Um, uh, I've got all sorts of different things in this one. Uh, more tomatoes. Um, over here, I've got some peas kind of peeking through. I don't know if the peas are going to make it by the time we have the um, uh, hot weather hit. I've got uh, arugula growing all throughout here. Uh, this is actually purple cauliflower. I actually harvested it. And you can see a little better here. If you look in here, I've harvested it, but it's growing new little shoots on this one. You can see the, the little four shoots here. One, two, three, four. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm letting my kale go to seed here. You can see it's got little seed pods. Um, oh, I can get the focus. Let's see. Well, hard to see, but um, has little seed pods in there. And uh, I actually put some popcorn all throughout, and I don't see any sprouting there, but it's all along the other side there, and they'll just grow in. The regular will kind of grow in with it all. Um, I think that'll work well. Here I've got um, anywhere from Brussels sprouts to cabbage. Um, uh, that's mostly cabbage there. I've got some more buttercrisp lettuce there. I love buttercrisp lettuce. We used to have spinach in here. Another tomato plant that's trying to survive there. Um, this right here is my garlic bed. Um, I planted this last year. Just went to the local uh, fresh foods place, a place called Caputo's here in town. Got some of their garlic. I said, I like their garlic. I want to plant it on my own. So I bought it, took it home, and I put it in the ground. Uh, and this is the result. This is all Caputo's garlic right here. Um, uh, we'll see how it tastes. I'm hoping it turns out well. Each one of these, will, I took a little node of garlic, and it turns into a really large uh, garlic uh, uh, clove. Each one of these will, will become one of those, and we'll dry them out and save them. This right here is my beet and uh, cabbage garden. In the center here, you look right here, that's a cabbage right there, another one right there, another one right there. Those are growing the cabbage, look nice and pretty. This is Hale's cantaloupe right here, Hale's best cantaloupe. Got another one right here, those will just hang over the side here and vine out. Um, and then along the side, see if I can get a good one here. We've got some uh, little beets peeking through here. I plant these by seed. Um, then, oh, another thing I planted, um, and it's not sprouted yet, I don't think. Uh, where did I plant it is the question. I think I planted it on this side over here. Uh, this is going to have a bunch of okra all throughout. Uh, I love okra. I grew up in the south. Fried okra is yummy. I'm hoping we have a lot of okra this year. That's going to be all along this side here. And then lastly, uh, this right here. Uh, oh, over there, I've got another um, little container garden there that uh, I put some more tomatoes. i got some cilantro over there. I'm letting some of the... It's, it's, it used to be mostly spinach. And the spinach is all going to seed now. You can see right there. That will be some good spinach seeds for next year. Uh, got Brussels sprouts and cilantro growing there. So if you have extra kind of pots like this, feel free to use those in your garden. I have a little uh, drip irrigation thing going in here that, that I've, I've put in and it fills it up nice and well. Um, it actually leaks out the side over here. Um, maybe not the best drip irrigation solution because it does get the ground wet but uh, does the job and this right here is my tomato garden I've mentioned all the different types of tomatoes um, I've got probably 50 or 60 different tomatoes throughout this entire garden and as you can see I've run out of uh, 
cages. I'm, I'm gonna let these grow a little more. Eventually I'll have to buy cages for them. But um, uh, I've got to, all around the outside, I've got uh, onions growing. I think that will work fine together, we'll see. Um, and then I, this is new for me. I got edamame here. My wife and I were out in San Francisco at a sushi place and uh, I introduced my wife to edamame. Um, she didn't think she liked it and uh, then she tried it and she loved it. So she's happy if, if we have edamame. So I wanted to get something that she'd enjoy and that I could enjoy. It would be a nice treat and we have four of these plants. Uh, I did have some cucumber over there, but it died. I gotta figure out where else to put cucumber. I've got a, four other plant cucumber plants that uh, are growing in other areas of the garden. But uh, So that's basically my garden. Um, I'll take you around at some point and then in the future I'll show you some of the trees I planted. I put some, some bare root trees around the, the garden. We've got some grape trees. Um, over there that I'll, I'll talk about. Uh, uh, my other fruit trees are growing in nicely. The uh, wisteria grew in really nicely this year. Uh, and you can see the rose bushes are starting to bloom. That's uh, right over there. Wisteria is right there. Um, I actually have another rose bush there. I actually got the rose that we had at our wedding is growing over there. It's not quite tall enough for you to see right now, but I'll show that to you. Um, I have a, a purple rose growing over there that you can't really see from here and I've got two more rose bushes kind of going over the arbor there I think we have some, some more trees going around uh, one of these days I'm gonna get a banana tree that to grow from inside the pond um, I've seen that before and it, it seems to like the wet uh, pond and, and growing out of the pond so I'm gonna try that my last banana tree did not work out that, that you can find on this channel so um, we'll see I've had two ducks coming in the pond. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a little episode on that. Um, and uh, I've got my duck box there too. I'll do an episode on that, as well as my wasp decoy there and what those things do and why I have them. So stay tuned. Let me uh, flip this around. So hopefully uh, that, that helped and uh, gave you a good idea of what you can plant for your garden. Uh, really, it just takes an experiment. Pick, uh, you see my, my grow boxes in the back here. They're just random pieces of wood I found. I, I mean, it doesn't even have to look pretty. I'm, I'm trying to gradually make it look pretty, but uh, but just get pieces of wood, screw them together, fill them with compost, and uh, you can add nutrients afterwards, but uh, uh, that's really all you need. Then put stuff in. Pick one single grow box uh, to start with, um, plant something in it for one year, get some exper experience, and then add to it as you learn more and more. That's what we're all doing, that's what I'm doing, that's what everyone else you see on YouTube is doing. We're all learning as we go. Um, uh, don't believe anyone who's not. Uh, uh, we're, all, uh, we're all in a learning process together. So anyway, this is Jesse Stay from Hashtag Geek Greens.